guys, what's going on here? Uh, today we're going to be doing another aquatic analysis video. Uh, sorry, the video's a little late, guys. Just, you know, problems. Anyway, today we're going to be doing our aquatic analysis on the Cabamba plant. It's a uh, aquarium plant from South America. It grows very quickly and it needs a lot of nutrients. For most uh, owners, I'd recommend you use flourish tabs and just stick them in your gravel and it'll keep all your plants nice and healthy. But I have a little secret, and that's never, ever clean your gravel. And have a lot of plants, and it basically does it all for you. So everything's always great when you do that. And I've had this for over a little over a week. I picked it up at Premier Aquatics, great fish store. Tried to do a review on it soon. There is, uh, it grows about two inches a week, which is very, very fast. So I only recommend it with people who have know what to do or don't feel bad by cutting it apart pretty much every few weeks. Uh, if you want to cut it, you use cuttings. Cut it from the bottom and usually just cut that off and you can keep on growing it. Uh, I've had mixed results on cutting this stuff apart and sometimes you cut it from the top, it works better. Sometimes you cut it from the bottom, it works better. It doesn't really matter. Because it really depends on the plant and how hardy it is and how good your tank is and all that. Another thing uh, Kabamba is really good for is it's good coverage for fish to hide in. It's also great for uh, small fish for breeding. It gives a lot of cover and it gives fish a very nice area to breed. Uh, it holds my, a couple of my fish in here. I really love it. This is my peacock eel right here. He loves it. We're doing an aquatic analysis video on these guys soon. And my new crown tail beta, which is right here. And he's very pretty. So, we'll do an aquatic analysis on him, too. Anyway, we've, uh, their lighting situation is not a big deal. I just have regular lighting. Although, my tank is right by a window. So, uh, for you guys that keep your tanks in dark places, you may want some stronger lighting, as these guys do like light. Uh, they are really fine with other plants, you know, you just keep them away because they grow insanely fast. And, like, this java fern right here is going to have to get moved. It's going to get engulfed if I don't move it. But, you know, uh, anyway, that's basically the basic, uh, information of keeping Kabamba. Uh... You might be getting selling some of these cuttings soon, so stay tuned to watch all that stuff. So anyway, see you guys. Bye.